These two men, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley, are the progenitors of modern crop circles and fooled the world for 15 years. In 1976, the two were out drinking when Doug told Dave about flattened circular things called saucer nests that had been appearing in Australia in the 60s. Australian farmers thought that they were probably made by UFOs taking off, but most scientists think that they were probably made by dust devils touching down for a bit. So that night, they decided to go out and make it look like a flying saucer landed in their own Wiltshire County, England. They went into a wheat field with a five foot iron bar and made a big ol' circle pushing over wheat stalks. Over the next two years, the two friends went out and made a bunch more circles without anyone in the public or the press really noticing. So they decided to pick a spot with a viewpoint so the public could actually see their work. Within 24 hours, it was national news and people started coming out of the woodwork claiming to be experts on their formation. Some of them said it was God, some said ghosts, and of course a lot of them said aliens. Basically, one of them would stand at the center of a proposed circle with one end of a rope, and the one at the other end of the rope would flatten out the radius. Other than the rope and the plank of wood, the only other tool they would use was a piece of wire dangling from the brim of their hat so that they could see if they were making straight lines. For almost 10 years, they were literally the only people on Earth who knew what was going on with crop circles. Finally, in 1991, they decided to let the world in on their artful, practical joke. They claimed responsibility for over 200 crop circles and had receipts in the form of original designs, and they brought a news crew along in order to watch them make one. One of the prominent seriologists, the so-called experts on crop circles, even went to that crop circle and declared it was authentic before it was revealed to him it was a hoax. The story is pretty much everything that I love. Two best friends benignly fucking with the world for 15 years with a heavy splash of science and skepticism. And they won an Ig Nobel in 1992, the second year of the award's existence.